the Fronton Center. Yay, the Fronton Centers have released their 2022-2023 season, and they've got a cool, diverse lineup this year. There's some names you're going to recognize. Yeah. Performances from Beatles versus the Stones, a musical showdown. That sounds like a good Look show. Out, some yeah. great music there. Tiempo Libre, Jim Belushi, and the Board of Comedy is going to be there. Black Violin and more. They also released the list for the Fall Family Movie Day series and for their Alley Door Club music series. they got performers like Big Daddy Fox, The Soul Syndicate, and Steeple Hill, many more. You want to learn more, you want to get tickets to all this, just go to frontal.org. Org. Oh, quite now, a lineup. Yeah, it is. I mean, anytime you can see Belushi. Hey, listen, bacon and beer lovers, we got something for you. It oh. is the, yeah, that's you, right? <laughs> the inaugural Michigan's Bacon what? Festival mm -hmm. in Lansing, July 30th, right over the summer. Uh, Outlier Events, they're hosting this over the top event that involves yeah. everything bacon. You got bacon donuts, bacon mac and cheese, bacon beer. So much more. All I'd I say think, yes to all three. All I can think of now is that commercial with the dog. Bacon, 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 bacon. <laughs> it's bacon. Yeah. There, there will also be food trucks, beer, and spirits, games, live music. It's a fun day for everybody. You want to sign up to learn more at michiganbaconfestival.com. Now, how do you make your bacon? That's the question. Uh, sometimes I bake it, and sometimes I fry it. it. But Frying it is such a mess in the kitchen. It is a Bake mess. It, yeah. Baking it is easier. Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah. We've had this talk. I sometimes put a little brown sugar crushed well, like pecans on some of it and bake it. Fancy. Uh, when I'm getting all fancy, I bake it. Yeah, mm -hmm. not healthy at all, but we'll take no, it sometimes. No, no, no. <laughs> well, hey, if you're looking to break a sweat over the weekend, GR Fitness Fest just kicked off yesterday. Uh, attendees will have access to over 50 events and workshops hosted by local trainers and facilities here in Grand Rapids. Now, classes include kickboxing, Pilates, run meetups, yoga, Zumba, dance, kayaking, and more. The list goes on and on. That's a lot. Yeah. Well, tickets went down from $10, which will give you access to unlimited classes. Classes are taking place all weekend long, and you can purchase a pass at sweatnet.com slash grfitnessfest. All right. Your ketchup bottle might start looking different. Heinz ketchup is going from uh, red to green, really? I guess. No, not green ketchup, but they're uh, environmentally green friendly. Green ketchup does exist, though. Yeah, I know it does. Yeah, yeah. yeah. This is this green in the way of environmentally friendly. Oh, the company okay. has announced plans to be the first ketchup brand with a paper bottle. Oh. Okay, instead of plastic. I mean, I like it, but are you going to puncture it? Well, you know, we're going to, well, it's going to take a while to sort this out, but yeah. they've, they've teamed up with packaging company Pulpex to make its iconic bottle renewable and recyclable mm. using 100% sustainably sourced wood pulp. Now, the Kraft Heinz company has set several goals, including making all of their packaging recyclable, reusable, or compostable by 2025. I love now, it. it's going to be a while before you see this in stores. All okay. right. The company says it's developing a prototype, then they have to do performance testing to yeah. see if it can you puncture it, and then consumer testing after that. So it's on the way. If you would give my husband one of these bottles, just and the whole thing would be just done. done. He, like, he likes the ketchup. We go through so much ketchup. I don't, it's just sugary tomatoes, but like, man, does that boy love ketchup. <laughs> oh, I Good don't get it. Good to know. <laughs> yeah. Oh, well, if you're going to pop the question anytime soon, here's a creative option. Snack brand Angie's Boom Chicka Pops, so oh, stinking good, uh, <laughs> releasing their popcorn cut diamond. What? Now, in a collaboration with jewelry designer Stephanie Gottlieb, uh, it's being called the first ever popcorn cut diamond ring. Now, the 11 carat eye popping stone is cut down to 3.66 carats and polished. 11 carats? Right, yeah, that's a big one. Now, before being set in a yellow, gold, bedazzled, and band, uh, the rings can be custom ordered, and uh, the prices started out just a measly fifty thousand. It's fine. Fifty thousand? That's it? Yeah. Oh, okay. For popcorn on your finger? <laughs> no, thank Does you. Does it leave the the cheddar cheese yeah. stuff on it? I don't know.